Have you checked the house? There's nobody inside. I expected as much. Sure, there's no car in the driveway. Uncollected mail. I wonder if he's gone for a long time. We need to ask around for this guy in town. This barn, it matches. Matches what? All those devices, mechanisms. The card man loves them and he has to keep them somewhere. And assemble. You think he stores explosives here? There may be bomb craters somewhere out in these fields. Let's check that barn. Nothing doing. How's that? It's obvious you need a warrant. So go and get one. Alone? We're a team, aren't we? I'm just saying that we don't need to go there together. I don't want you to mess things up again. Mess things up? Again? <laughs> I guess we're not a team anymore. Come on, you know the card man's very dangerous. Yeah, and he certainly ensnared his next victim. Maybe he even holds them here, in the barn. I don't think so. All the traps he's set are far away from here. I'm supposed to be a witness of his game, so I'm safe. Yeah, as long as he controls the situation. But once he sees you here, he's gonna panic. Be prepared for the worst. So far, I get the feeling that you want to control the whole investigation. Why? Because you're just pushing blindly ahead. You don't give others any time to prepare for the action. He doesn't give it. You've forgotten it's you who started the power plant installation? Oh, was it also me who started the steamer in Louisiana? No, but he would have waited for you, even a whole day. I'm sure of it. In a moment, you'll tell me that you've got female intuition. What's the background of those crimes? You said that for him you were like a witness of the game. He relishes it. He desires admiration and probably fantasizes that you're admiring him. Are you implying a sexual overtone? You think so? It's possible. I mean, that would explain why he wouldn't let me get so close. He's seducing you. You're joking, right? It's like with courtship. First you need to attract attention and then try to maintain it at a suitably high level. I don't know. I can see something different in it. He fascinates you. Admit it. Give me a break. I abhor him. I'm just focusing on the case. Yes? I can't. Not right now. Lens? What kind? I see. All right. Thank you. Somebody from the Bureau? Nothing important. Where were we? Wondering about what to do next. Fine. I'll go to the town. Go, but there's little you can do. True. We don't even know what we're supposed to search for. But I'll talk to the judge to check what the odds are. We need to talk to the town people about Reed as well. You know, he may have nothing to do with the killings after all. The serials usually begin where they feel safe, on their own ground. And Maine seems to be perfect. Anyway, I'm going to the town. You sure you want to stay? Already told you. I don't have any other ideas. Then let's get down to work. The mailbox is full. If Reed's the killer we're searching for, then I suppose he prepared for the murders in the barn, not in the house.
padlocked gate. Upstairs, there's a window ajar. I can't move the conveyor until I take the wheel out of the hole. These items don't match. The boards become smooth after soaping it. The snow is melted thanks to the salt. Great, but why can't the conveyor slide down the board? Brilliant job. The conveyor moved right under the window. The objects on the table, they remind me of something. That's what I call a well-equipped workshop. Now it's obvious. This is where the card man was preparing his deadly machines. Okay, but where's the guy? This wafer makes me think of the disaster at the crossing. The box has a combination lock of a familiar structure. Are these projectors restored here by any chance? This laser hasn't been assembled. The owner of this house has got to be a logical game buff. man waiting for me upstairs? I think those 
those devices were designed here. And this device? A fan? A propeller? It's a bomb diagram. It must be scorching here in summer. I guess this is a laser diagram. Stay where you are, thief. Calm down. I'm not moving. I'll explain everything in a second. She may have a gun. Sure. I'm an FBI agent. The name's Bonnet. That's correct, sis. The FBI have invaded our farm. Put down your weapon, please. What are you doing here? You've got a warrant? We'll get it. Now, you see? Too bad you didn't shoot her. <laughs> now it's too late, Paul. I'll explain everything, but please put down your weapon. Not so fast. First, tell me why you've broken into my house. Call the police if you're still afraid of me. Now you see, the government can do what they want. Now the cops will let her go anyway. We'll file a complaint against you. Okay, you have the right to do it. Now let me explain. The window was open. Ah, I can see you've got long legs, but not that long. She climbed the conveyor belt. I noticed something suspicious through the window. Hmm. And what was it, sweetheart? Is the FBI interested in agricultural machinery? I'm conducting an investigation. Into what? Before I answer, your name, sir, is Paul Reed, right? She's fallen in love with me. <laughs> it is? So what? I do apologize, but I need to ask you if... Well? You've been in the wheelchair for long. Ten years. It's been ten years, darling. It's wonderful that you take care of your brother. Cut the soft soap. Do you often leave this place together? To the town? Yes, we do. Any further? Like, on vacation? Why? <laughs> You'd like to take me with you? <laughs> you city lady. We don't have vacation here. Get to the point. We can't wait. So, I'm investigating a murder case. Wow. Tell me why you broke in. I didn't. The window was open. Talk to me if you want to save your ass. You really should. Your fingerprint was found on a certain device which was used to kill a person. Kill? Who? It's some kind of bullshit. His name was Edward Carter. You know the guy. I know Joseph and Alice. I don't recall any Edward. We'd hear about this murder, wouldn't we, Fan? The case is quite recent, but it happened in New York. This is Maine, woman. We've found your fingerprints. Fingerprints, right. But on what? On a chip. It was connected to an immobilizer. Why? To bypass it and take control of the car. But you can't control the car like that. All you can do is stop it. That was the point. The car stopped at a grade crossing and was rammed by a train. Well, I'll be damned. What? Too bad about the car, huh? <laughs> Enough of this. I, I want you to get out. Mr. Reed, can you explain how your fingerprint got on that object? Are you sure it's mine? We compared it with the one from the military records. Those army bastards. They can't even protect their own secrets. You don't have to explain yourself. We're not going to talk to people who act like thieves. Mr. Reed, it would be better if you talk to me right now. You're not questioning him without a warrant. After what I've seen here, I'll easily get a warrant. You don't know our judge. I don't want to interrogate you. I'm just asking you to talk to me voluntarily. Carter's killer is on the loose. There'll be other victims, unless we catch him. Paul has to be taken care of right now. Please leave. Wait, Fan. We need to help them. How can you help them? We'll see. Agent? I'm all ears. Since you found my fingerprint, it... Could have been the circuits I constructed here a few weeks ago. 
why did you construct them? To earn money. And who paid? See, that's the problem. I don't know. So, what did the guy look like? Never seen him. How come? You'd better not cover up for him. He just sent me a general diagram explaining what he wanted from me. Do you still have that mail? No. Where was it from? I don't remember. It wasn't important then. And the pay? That may have been New York. Every time, the money was sent from a different city. Every time? I knew it was him. I received such orders only from him. We know of at least six victims. Damn it. Life sucks, doesn't it? Paul, say no more. Too late, Van. Get the hell out of here. How? What did he use? For instance, a gantry crane connected to an explosive charge protected by lasers. Did the bomb explode? No, the woman... Oh, a woman. Yes, she died of a heart attack. He tied her up and put her under a gantry, and a half-ton weight was hanging above her. The weight was dropping a couple of inches at regular intervals. Paul, how do you know all that? I programmed that damn thing, remember? We bought a new audio set for that job. How many such orders did you have? Eight, maybe nine. Eight lucky, extremely well-paid orders. Plus advances for the supplies and tools. I helped him to kill eight people. Paul, don't say that! New windows on the porch, remember? The computer, armchairs, and that new dishwasher. One purchase, one life. I can't listen to this crap. Shut the hell up. Don't worry. They won't do anything to me. Kitchen knives producers or even weapon manufacturers don't get thrown into prison. But imagine an electric wheelchair! <laughs> Stop it, I beg you! Calm down! That's not fair! I he's just gotten back on his feet! Back on his feet! <laughs> We're not begging for mercy. We're not imposing ourselves on the world with our problems. God knows how much it costs us. We manage. We lead honest lives. We don't steal, we don't hurt anybody. Do you understand? I do. You don't have to be afraid. No, you don't understand. No tragedy has turned your life upside down. No stupid, absurd accident has ruined your hopes. But be careful, Missy. Everybody's teetering on the edge, but only a few notice that. Fanny, sis. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm chasing an extremely dangerous man. He can kill somebody again any moment. He's murdered three people lately, and we're afraid he's caught his next victim. That's why I'm so determined. That's why I barged in. I'm sure you wouldn't just stand by idly, knowing that there's even the slightest chance of saving somebody's life. She's right, Fan. You wouldn't let that killer get away with it. Once you get mad, nothing can stop you. Years ago, she caught her husband with another woman and chased him in his shorts through the whole town. At the town limits, she shouted at him that she didn't want to see him again and then fired several times in the air. He didn't dare return, did he? I've erased his name from my memory. All men have been giving her a wide berth ever since. This woman hasn't come here for female prattle. It would do you good if they locked me up. Then you'd finally have time for yourself. We don't need the government's help to control our own lives. Yeah, yeah, controlling our lives. Ten years ago, I was an engineer in a secret base. I was working on next-generation weaponry, and I thought I was holding all the aces. And then Peter talked me into carrying out that experiment, despite the ban. Me riding a wheelchair is a simple consequence of that folly. But I can't accept the fact that you're confined to it as well. What's the point of brooding over it? Why do you make yourself miserable? I can't stand the thought that you've wasted your youth because of me! You see, he's tormenting me with his guilt. Men just don't understand anything. Was anybody else injured in that accident? No, Peter was fine, but he suffered serious consequences. They put him into prison for five years. What kind of accident was it? I still can't discuss it. Military secrets, you know. <laughs> Code name Queen of Hearts? What do you know? 
I see the project has become famous. Have you seen your friend after he was released from prison? What is his name? Peter Douglas. We used to be close friends, but he didn't want me to visit him in prison, and we haven't been in touch since then. Feeling guilty? His world fell apart. He was brilliant and extremely gifted, but prison meant the end of his career. No government agency would ever hire him. Who could have ordered all these machines? I've been thinking about it, and I haven't figured it out. But they know what you can do. Yes, it's somebody that knows me because they live near my place or somebody from the army. Letters, receipts, diagrams. Will you show them to me? Uh, I need to look through my documents. Come back with a warrant. That's a better option. My partner will get it. He should be back soon. Ah, the man we passed by when we were coming back home. You said he reminded you of somebody. Yes. Didn't he used to work for the police? How long ago? Back when Derek Finney died, remember? Finney? That womanizer? Can you tell me something more about it? Finney used to be a good guy, but he started drinking and chasing skirts. His wife was jealous, so he beat her. God, did he abuse her. No wonder somebody finished him off. I don't know if he deserved such a fate. That was a horrible crime. He was strangled with a rope tightened by the turning clockwork mechanism. Yes, I remember that. He died inside the church tower. Was the murderer caught? I haven't heard anything about it. And you? No. Derek ended up like this because he started drinking. Alcohol isn't for the weak. And that woman, Finney's wife, does she live here? No. She moved away soon after, but her father does. How can I find him? It's easy. He's the pastor. The church is in the center. I'll be back with the warrant. Bye. I can't wait. Hmm. I guess that's all. Too bad. It was so nice talking to you. It's Nicole. I haven't fixed anything yet. Maybe it's better this way. I've talked to him. To read? Yes. There are new grounds for doing a search. Is it him? Do you think a disabled guy could be behind these crimes? What do you mean? He's chair-bound. His sister takes care of him. Ah, uh, so we were on the wrong track. Another thoughtless action. Not necessarily. Reed made the devices that the murderer then used. Like the lasers? Yes. I mean he altered or improved them. Accomplice? That's a good question. He claims he received orders by mail. He was only given instructions what to do. These documents should be specified in the search warrant. We also need to check his account and delivery orders. Did he send those machines by mail after assembling them? Yes, I saw the diagrams and the elements he rejected before putting together the devices. Uh, we won't get anything from the judge today. If they're so amenable, let's at least take some photos of his workshop. Not so amenable. We won't get much more without a warrant. Did you have an argument? Not at all. Were you in the courthouse? Has Woolsey been found? No. Now what? Are you coming here? Yeah. I want to talk to the pastor. The pastor? In the church tower, a man was killed with the use of a clockwork mechanism. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Shall we eat something first? No, the pastor's more important. Wanna join me? Can't work on an empty stomach. My head's starting to ache from hunger. Call me when you're done. I'll be sitting in some bar. Bon appetit, then. Good luck. <laughs> 